How's it guys, Monash here and today we have some Alliance War gameplay with my latest rank 4 6 star and as you can see that is Gallon. So this is where the recording starts, I don't have the actual rank up footage because the video kind of got corrupt uh, when I took him up last week while I was away. So we are getting right into the gameplay starting off with a Doctor Doom on part 5 section 1. Well this is actually the shared fight node 19 so ebb and flow knockdown right back at it and aggression prowess. So this is a great matchup for Gallon. I actually believe he's one of the best counters, which is surprising for a cosmic champ, but that is just one of the great things about him. He can be sort of anti-mystic, because he is immune to nullify and fade seal. So now we're gonna knock him down to start the harvest, remove protection, and now we can just drop a special two since it's unblockable. And that's it, Doom just disappears in 50 seconds, which is much faster than I usually do this fight with my rank four negative with boosts might I add, although that's largely due to the special 3 animation. But yeah, Gallon just nukes Doom because he is immune to nullify and Doom's aura does allow him to nullify on contact, and right now mine is only sig 40, I might still take him up to 120 to get the maximum benefit, but I am still opening the current feature because I haven't pulled Valkyrie yet so I am gonna wait a bit. So next up we have a thing with Ebon Flow Intercept and I usually would use negative here because he just shreds this fight. But I wanted to try out Gallon because he's also a very effective thing counter just because the harvest damage does not trigger protection. So all I have to do is just play around the rock stack and build him up which is fairly simple to do especially when you can parry stun and hit block. So as usual get him to 15 stacks and then bait special 1. Going fairly well at this stage, really not doing much damage at all from my basic hits. I'm gonna drop a special one here to get those fury buffs. And then I'm gonna carry on building him up with just medium light mediums until I have at least two bars of power. Then I'll knock him down to start the harvest. Then I'll try to intercept before I drop the special two. Okay, so bait one more special one. Alrighty, now I've got 490 mass, so parry heavy. Go for the intercept. Get a nice little backdraft, special 2, 120,000 damage from harvest ending, and we get some nice incinerate debuffs that take him out. So yeah, pretty effective for Thing as well. And that's also one of the reasons why I took him up. This Thing on path 5, section 1, the first fight, note 2, with right back at it and force of wall is a pretty common placement. So I often use Nick Fury for that fight because he's nice and quick and very safe. But if I don't need him for any other fights on the map, then I might want to bring Gallon instead, because he is a bit more versatile on part 5, along with being good for the shared fights because he doesn't rely on debuffs and he is immune to power snack. Kind of like Negative, who is having a pretty good time against this mojo right here. And I do prefer baiting his special too, because the special 1 can push him back quite a bit, which makes it easier to get cornered. And Dexing is not an issue with Negative, because he can just remove the buff without triggering MD by simply dashing back. And if I don't remove the buff, which I didn't here because I wanted to convert before I get it too much light energy, otherwise I'll start to expire, I get a degen, which means I get a regen, so that's quite convenient. I can still lose some health though if I didn't have any debuffs on him, but if I have at least one on him then I'll start to heal, which is why it doesn't need to be a high sig, because the degen damage reduction is based on how many debuffs you have on him, so you just need a few to regen more than you degen. Alright, so special 3 with 20 dark energy and him being at only 45% does more than enough to take him out. And this fight did have mighty charge, which is why I don't use negative special 2, because the degen debuffs will just get purified when he dashes at me. Alright, so now we have one more fight for Gallon, which is gonna be a Weapon X with Ebon Flow Intercept and Mighty Charge. A matchup you wouldn't think Gallon would be particularly good for. He doesn't have anything to counter the more annoying abilities that Weapon X has, such as the ridiculous region, he doesn't heal block or anything like that. He doesn't get easy openings to play around on blockable. He's not bleed immune or has any sort of damage over time resistances or purification abilities, so if you get hit, it can hurt pretty badly. But just the fact that he can wipe out an entire health pool with just one special attack through a single source of damage just makes him so potent for this fight. Okay, so drop a special 1, and I am going to pull to the special 2, and now he's no longer berserk so I can actually parry here, though he does have mighty charge so I just need to watch out for the re-parry. So carry on with the medium light mediums, get a 2 bars of power then drop the heavy attack, play the special 1, go for the backdraft. He's playing a little bit passive but eventually I will get that intercept, 
drop that special too which puts me at 620 mass and watch diaper boy just melt away so yeah just the sheer versatility of that burst damage when you complete the harvest paired with a pretty unique but relevant set of immunities and then a few other stuff like being able to counter auto block and miss access to unstoppable and fury buffs a bit of regen and then there's the herald thing which is not really a big deal but it all just adds up to make him such an incredible cosmic jump so i just had to take him to rank 4 because that burst damage also only skills with base attack i did take Hawkling up first just because i like and use him more but i do think gallon needs it more at least he benefits more from it so I am very happy with this rank up and look forward to using him a lot more. So that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys found this interesting. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.